Game Ranks presents 10 Things Gamers Lie About. Yeah, that's right. We've been watching and listening. We know what you're up to. Let's get started with number 10. A lot of gamers out there lie about their KD ratio. A KD ratio, or kill-death ratio, is kills divided by deaths. So, for example, if a player gets 10 kills and 5 deaths in a given game, they have a 2 KD ratio. That means they got 2 kills before they died each time they spawned on average. KD ratio is a badge of honor in many video games, most commonly Halo and Call of Duty. And there's a bunch of dickheads out there who like to say their KD ratio is amazing when really it's probably not. The fact of the matter is, is if you play a lot it goes up and down pretty often and varies. So it's not something really accurate to be boasting about. And plus really at the end of the day I don't think many people care about your KD ratio. Sorry kid. At number 9 here's something that a lot of people are guilty of and you know it's a bit of a reactionary thing so it's okay. Blaming lag for sucking in a game. Immediately the first time you killed, you want to go, oh, it was lag, it was lag. It wasn't me just not being good. It's lag, it's always lag, right? It's okay, I'm totally guilty of this one. It's almost instinctive to blame lag first over your skills. The first thing you do is really just question the integrity and the connection of the game. When in reality, nine times out of 10, the connection in the game was probably fine and you just got capped. But let me tell you, when you do get killed and the fault is actually lag, I'll blame it even harder. I'll shout it from the rooftops. But seriously, nine times out of 10, stop blaming lag for sucking in a game. At number eight, we're still talking about those multiplayer people accusing others of cheating. Now look, cheating is very prevalent, hacking is there, but most of the time when you're in the match, nobody's really cheating. It's much easier to blame somebody who's really good or godly compared to your team. That they're just cheaters. Or that they're hacking or manipulating and exploiting the game, when in reality, eh, they're probably not. And I'm not really worried about cheating so much as I'm worried about people stealing kills that were rightfully and clearly mine. No! God, please, no! No! Ah! So I guess my solution for this one is just get good. And at number seven, we have those players that tell other players that they're playing the game wrong. You shouldn't be using a sniper rifle there. Or no fair, that's a noob cannon. Or claiming something that you use is imbalanced. And a lot of the times, they're full of shit. There's always gonna be something wrong with a game, a balancing issue, or something that needs a fix through a patch or something. But most of the time, it doesn't stop gamers from using it as an excuse far more than it's warranted. Stop trying to talk your way out of losing or not having a good time playing the game. Just leave me alone. Let me play the game how I wanna play, you dirty liars. At number six, here's a phrase you might hear your friends say a lot of times. I can beat anyone at Halo, Call of Duty, Madden, Counter-Strike, League, Dota. It goes on and on, but everybody out there has a friend that thinks that they can beat anybody in one specific game. And you know what? I'm totally guilty of that too. I can beat anyone at Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Seriously, you want to challenge me? I can beat anyone. I'm serious. Let's do it. Let's go. Not the new Tony Hawk though. That shit sucks. I've been working with Activision for so long, I don't have to school them in what skateboarding is. And at number five, we got more multiplayer goofs here. Those people that claim, oh, I'm, I'm really bad at this game. I'm awful. I, I, bet I never play it. I'm, I'm not really that good. My little sister can beat me. When in reality, they're actually really, really good. And then they steamroll everybody, including newer players. What is the point of that? Why, why are you doing that? What do you get out of that? What is the satisfaction other than just being a stupid idiot liar and being like, oh yeah, I've never played this game. And then you kill everyone. It doesn't help your score. It doesn't help your credibility. It doesn't really do anything. Maybe it just feels good to you. You jerk. At number four, we got another big liar on this list, another boaster. One of those players that says they could beat a competitive esports player if they had the chance, or if they had enough time to play the games. Yeah, you hear that all the time. Oh, well, if I had enough time like that to practice, I could beat so-and-so at this game. But no, I have a real job. Okay, well, whatever. That's like me getting mad at Eli Manning for throwing a football better than me. I don't care. It is his job. Sure, he gets paid a ridiculous amount of money to do it. But hey, you don't see me out on the playground football field bitching and moaning about it, right? Because look, you really probably couldn't beat that esports champion if you had the chance. He'd probably wipe the floor with you. And it's not just because maybe he's better than you, but there's a lot more things that go into esports. He has the endurance. He can play these games for long amounts of time. Under lights and cameras in front of a huge stadium audience. And you don't really have that experience. So it's more than you just thinking you're better than him when you're probably not anyway. And like I said before, it sounds just as silly as me saying that I could dunk on Michael Jordan. Get real. And number three, here's one that we can all probably relate to. It's pretty hashtag relatable. I've always had a younger brother or sister who would walk up in front of the TV while I was playing a game and be like, 
Hey, can I play? And you know what, just to get them out of the way and to shut them up because they never will, I hand them a controller. Yeah, sure, the controller isn't plugged in, but they don't know any better, do they? Sometimes I'll even give them a little, yeah, good job. Yeah, you're doing great, you just did that thing. Yeah, look at that high score that you got that I really got instead. I am a complete and utter huge fat liar. And you know what, I don't care. Whatever I have to do to keep my game going, I will tell whatever lie I have to, so I don't have to pause my game. Okay, don't judge me. Don't, don't fucking judge me. Look, you probably did the same thing. At number two, here's a good lie. Those people that say, oh, this game is too easy. And they're really probably just pretending to be better than a game than they actually are. Look, man, we're just sitting on the couch. I'm not impressed. I don't think you're cool that you think this game is too easy or whatever. It doesn't change how I feel about the game or it doesn't really change what we're playing right now, does it? Have you guys heard this one? I've always had a friend or a friend of a friend who would say that. And the best way you can tell an asshole from a normal person is somebody who would be like, oh yeah, Dark Souls is too easy. Yeah, Bloodborne, pff, easy. It's too easy, it sucks. You know that person is a complete freaking liar and a piece of garbage. And if they're saying it on a YouTube comment, there's even more reason not to believe them. And at number one, here's a big lie that we've all heard many times, usually on the playground in grade school. Well, my uncle works at Nintendo and he said, etc, etc. Have you heard this one? I've heard stories like these all the time. There's always that kid, there's always that guy, there's always somebody that knows somebody that's uncle's cousin's sister's ex-wife worked at Sony and says apparently they're making a new Crash Bandicoot. Or little Jimmy on the playground that said his uncle works at Nintendo and he said that they're putting Sonic the Hedgehog in a Pokemon game. You're full of shit, little Jimmy. Get out of here with your fake family members. Nobody wants that. Those are just such ridiculous, unbelievable lies. So so many little people work in the game industry that it's usually a much bigger chance that you don't know anybody that's ever worked on a game. And that's totally fine. You don't have to lie about this shit. And please don't use it to make up lies and bullshit and get us excited about things in games that aren't even real. Why would you do that? And the moral of this story is, don't lie, it's just video games. Enjoy your video games. Nobody cares about how good you are, or the high score that you said you got that you probably didn't really get, or all the other assorted lies you can tell. Just play the game and shut up. So guys, those are 10 things that gamers lie about. We lost a lot of friends making this list, so please, become our friends. And let us know in the comments what kind of gamer lies you tell or have heard, because there are probably tons more of them, and we want to hear about them. If you did like this video and maybe realize that your best friend is full of crap, click the like button because that's the best way you can really help us out. And if you're new, subscribing is even better because we do videos like this every single day. But guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.